name is Claire, and I'm teaching you how to use the 180 UC CMA dishwasher. So the CMA dishwasher is an all-manual, high-temp, and single-rack dishwasher. It usually stays between the temperatures of 150 degrees Fahrenheit to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and usually increases to 180 degrees Fahrenheit during use. So it does not need to sanitize any of the dishes. First, we want to turn on the dishwasher. On. Then to fill, you want to hold the rocker switch to the right that says fill. And you want to hold it until you see water coming out of the drain and out of the pipe. So once we see water run out of the pipe, that's when we know that the dishwasher is full and ready to run. The only external connections needed for this dishwasher is power and water supply and just a drain pipe. Hi, my name is Sapna and I will be teaching you how to use the CMA 180 dishwasher. Um, so first you will need detergent, a rack with pegs for plates and bowls, and other things that need to stand up. And then you will need an open rack with large mesh for uh, larger dishes. An open rack with smaller mesh for laying down utensils. Now we have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes for the dishwasher's wash temp heater to reach a temperature of at least 155 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can adjust the temperatures as needed by removing the panel uh, in front of the heater and turning the adjustment stem. So you want to place the first rack of dishes inside. And um, add one teaspoon of detergent. to the left side where the water has collected. Once the rack is inside, press start and you will hear the water start to run. When the cycle is over, which takes about two minutes, the booster heater should have brought the rinse temperature to about 180. Um, and now you will hear the water start to run. Now the dishes are ready and you can remove the rack. and set it aside to dry. Hi, I'm Candace. I'm going to show you what to do at the end of the day when you're done using the dishwasher and it needs to be clean. So the first thing you want to do is drain the dishwasher. You're going to use this button right here and you're going to hit drain. So you can see that the dishwasher is draining by looking over here to the left and seeing it drain out. Once it's completely drained, you can turn it off. Once you've turned it off, you need to let it cool all the way down before you can clean it. Now that it's cool, we can go in and we can clean the inside screen which is the large screen right here. You want to make sure you get the sprayers out of the way. And you can pull this out. There's also two screens on the bottom. They're down here. This is one of them. And inside, in the back, there's a third one. You can see this one's dirty and it needs to be cleaned. Additionally, you want to clean out both spray arms. I'll demonstrate how to take out the bottom one. It's right here, and you can unscrew it by the base, and you can take it out. Now when you're cleaning this, what you want to focus on is looking to see if there's any debris in these holes, 
and if there is, you can push it through with a toothpick. You can also use a brush to scrape off and brush off any extra debris. So you can screw off the ends and then you can rinse out like this. Once you've cleaned the spray arms and all three screens, you can reassemble the dishwasher. Make sure that when you're putting back in the big screen, you're very careful of the spray arms. in the dishwasher and if there is you can wipe it down with a cloth. It's also a good idea to check the outside and the sides of the dishwasher just in case any debris has splashed up from the three compartment sink. Now that the dishwasher is all clean it's ready for the next use. If you have any questions on how to clean the machine you can always consult the operating and cleaning instructions located here on the wall.